Hello, I'm back. It's 11.17 p.m. at night. So, here's proof that I'm on the streets. You know, I'm not in a hotel room tonight. So, I'm deeply hurt and frustrated that, um... Like, how can my twin sister hypocritically talk about me um, having any kind of prejudice towards anyone else when she has such strong prejudice against me? But she, her feelings get hurt when she talk about people being prejudiced. Like, um, like when she one time said that she didn't understand why the biological sister Ramona is prejudiced of us. She even said that um, one another time she said that um, she didn't understand why Lanika's mom, Miss Cheryl, from that Kraft family was um, why they um, like she said that she couldn't understand why Miss Cheryl used to be was prejudiced of us. But you're my twin sister, and you think you're high, bigger, better, and higher than me. You try to lie to people and say Candy thinks she's better than other homeless people. But you think you're better than me. And and you think that you're too good to suffer homelessness. So my twin sister had been har- harassing and attacking me all day to, all day for the past couple of days. And doing fake live stream fake YouTube live streams about me and getting thousands of views. So she's working with the fake Darnell Williams perp that's trying to sex traffic me. And she knows damn well that he he was lying and she went right along with it when he lied on me and said that um that I followed his orders to get a, an OnlyFans account. And I don't have an OnlyFans account and any OnlyFans account about me is is a fake account he made up pretending to be me. So, and then he would even use fake names talking about Candy Nell Williams and pretend that he's in love with me and that we're married and all kinds of stuff. And then next, the next moment he talks so, so hateful against me. And then he acts like as if he's sexually chasing after both me and my twin sister. He acts like he sexually wants her too. And you can tell in his voice that he's an obese, overweight person in his 20s. So that made me really upset that he took an old video from a couple of years ago, stalking all my videos. And then she smear campaign and shared the video um, and talking about, oh, see, this is proof right here that Candy's racist and this and that, whatever. But my twin sister, she says stuff against Mexican people, too. You know, like, she even talked about them being so dirty and, um, you know, riding the Greyhound bus with them. And she even talked about situations she had with them. But remember, I used to be a Spanish major in college. And I appreciated and loved all Hispanics. But my personal experiences in Los Angeles and Texas, you know, made me end up feeling a certain way uh, through personal experiences and trauma and abuse from what I went through with them. But as I said, the legal Mexicans and the Mexican Americans in East LA they were no problem, and they loved me, and they welcomed me, and I got along nice with them. I even went to Mexico in 2015, and they loved me and didn't want me to leave. So they're trying to make a false smear campaign lying and saying Candy's prejudice of Mexican race and hates all Mexicans and calls them illegal based on the color of their skin. And that's not even true. They're lying and twisting and manipulating things. You know, so, but um, as I said, 
I was trying to say in the previous video, one of the previous videos, um, but she had, um, you know, she used to make fun of me and, and trying to make it like, well, I, I didn't know any better when I was a kid. And, and I'm going to tell y'all the reason why, I mean, I, I stopped thinking like that ever since many years ago, but in elementary school, I used, yeah, I felt like I used to want to be white. You want to know why? Because um, the perms in my hair were traumatizing me. Or I used to wish I was another race because the perms that they put in my hair in foster care used to traumatize me, the perms and the braids. But then, then later on, I got a certain age. And I was a child. I didn't know no better. And, and then, you know, I stopped thinking that way, you know, as I got a certain age. Excuse me. So um, I was in elementary school when I used to think that way. But, um, you know, it's like people have tried to falsely accuse me of being racist against pretty much every race. You know, they try to falsely accuse me of being racist against my own people. Mexicans, Asians, and white people. So, and and they make the smear campaigns about other targeted individuals as well. You know, so they have a TI, well, somebody that's supposedly a targeted individual that's Mexican and, um, I had talked to her, you know, off and on the past few months, but the past couple of weeks, I haven't been seeing her around, you know, but, um, but yeah, I mean, my twin sister is working with the traffickers to bring me down. What did she mean when she said, you want her in blood, you come get her? And then she used the, the middle finger emoji. So before I can even, um, I didn't even report, but I just blocked the account with the fake Darnell Williams perp. He, he used the um, fake account talking about greedy with two threes, like thir Masonic 33 and Grand Perp 666. And he's like, he was making fake harassing comments. And before I can, I mean, I showed y'all in one of the more previous videos about the fake harassing comments he was saying. And um, I didn't even report it, but it looked like the video was deleted for um, violating terms of service. So, but, um, but I mean, like in the fake Darnell Williams perp made a fake, um, comment saying, oh, you're so obsessed with food that you compare, you describe people as food. Well, even like growing up, me and my twin sister, we used to talk about people's complexion being like a peanut butter complexion or somebody's complexion being orange. You know, um, and her own husband, Dwayne, is a damn peanut butter complexion. You know, even her kids are peanut, well, not McKeithen. I don't perceive him to be peanut butter. But to me, I always perceive the Raven and Ivan to be peanut butter complected like their dad, you know. But um, McKeithen is, well, all three of them are like lighter brown skin, you know. But she falsely glorifies them as light skin. Um, so, you know, as I said, she's not even trying to um, make any attempts at trying to... Um, you're so busy bullying and harassing and trying to take your twin sister down. And you're not even trying to reunite with your kids and bond with them. But you pretend to, pretend to fake care about them so much. 
but you willingly threw your own kid's life away for a selfish, fake lifestyle. You pretended that you couldn't handle or control or you couldn't even take care of your kids, but you sit there and um, you can take good care of a girlfriend and you can take good care of a dog. So my twin sister is going along with the lies, you know, um, and they're saying stuff that if I reposted it, oh, I would get, I would be the one to get in trouble for um, violation of terms of service. The, the vulgar, filthy stuff that, that they joke about. And then like one of my, my videos, they screenshot one of my videos and, um, and altered the pictures to make it like as if my eyes looked demon possessed. When they um, did a fake AI or Photoshop or they photo edited my pic, one of my um, a screenshot of one of my videos to try to falsely make it like as if my eyes look rolled back and demonic. And then. My twin sister is also so sexually perverted that um, she acted like as if she was fake implying that I was, damn, they got people walking by. Hold up. So, hold up. So, so my twin sister is so sexually perverted that she falsely, um, she put in a fake community post to falsely imply that I was masturbating um, during a YouTube video. And you think that shit is funny. And, and then they falsely accused me of masturbating and busting a neck or whatever. You know, and, and my twin sister's always been sexually perverted like that. You know, and the fact that you're participating in having your own twin sister, I mean, these strangers trying to traffic your own twin sister. And then Anthony being fake and two-faced, commenting all over my twin sister's page, talking about that I'm disgusting. When Anthony, you hypocritically... um condemn my twin sister when she got drunk and beat and raped her girlfriend and you hypocritically condemned her on another fake account and I saw that that was you and you yelled at her talking about there was no excuse and, and you were um so so you know I mean but if I'm so disgusting why do you stalk and watch me why do you watch my videos only a perp would do that but if I got into an argument with even some of the other fake T.I. perps, they don't be obsessed with stalking me. Sometimes we have our feud and then part ways. But Anthony has been freaking um, stalking, following, and harassing me for like two years. And he never left me alone. That's strange. So, so I mean, like, even when, when we were 17, 18, 19 years old, my twin sister and the foster stepdad and the foster boys used to make up lies. And I would be, like, in the bathroom for a long time, you know, and they would lie on me and say, Candy's masturbating in the tub in the bathroom. That's why she's taking so long. And that wasn't even true. You know, so, but I mean, it takes me about maybe 30 minutes to um, take a shower and wash my hair while I'm in a shower. And they would lie, they, they would tell so many sexually perverted lies about me and, and, and trying to make a fool out of me. You know, so I know I'm not the holiest or the best Christian. And I felt like, well, 
I'm not holy enough. I need to practice to be holy, you know. Um, and it's like, why would a, anybody that said that they're Christian have an OnlyFans? So my twin sister thought it was funny to repeat the lie. And I'm telling y'all everything. Y'all still ignore me. You still won't listen to me. You still won't believe me. You still would rather side with the perps. You will still would rather side with my twin sister. I'm sorry for any possible outside noise. Um, so ants have, like a couple of ants, been, you know, attacked me tonight. I have no shelter overhead. Um, and then the fake Darnell Williams perp trying to falsely talk about, oh, Candy's money hungry, greedy ass, you know, was begging for um, $700 five minutes ago and this and that or whatever. Um, well, if that bothers you, unfollow. You know, um, but my twin sister hypocritically showed, now she has her cult followers hypocritically calling me fat and greedy, but she she did a, um, a fake YouTube um, community post flaunting off herself cooking chicken wings. But, you know, even growing up, people were like, I was always told that I'm a caramel complected. I'm a caramel complected person or if somebody's considered skin color considered chocolate or vanilla, you know, or somebody's considered like butterscotch complexion or something like that. So, or so-called strawberry or olive complected, almond complected. But he just wanted to make a fake case and look a homeless perp coming over here. He ain't got no shirt on. They're sending a, a homeless perp over here to come and surveil me. Don't you come your ass over here. Look. And it looked like he's flaunting off a bottle of water. How did he know that I'm very thirsty? I'm very thirsty tonight. I didn't even get to have enough water to drink throughout the day. And, and earlier I had my um my clay supplement and my other supplement, you know, to help with my cramps. I'm forced to be out here menstruating. And having no place where I could use the bathroom. You want to know how torturous that is? Now they got a bunch of people walking. Um, ever since I started to do my video. So they want me out in the open to be harassed. And they've been um, manipulating the thumbs up and thumbs down on the video that I, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the short story that I wrote. Um, see the dirty purpose over, over that way. They sent him over here. And um, so I, they sent that perp over here. And they send different perps every night to freaking surveil me when I gotta be on the streets. And there's always a dude. This makes me feel so uncomfortable.
But if it was other females in the TI community talking about this, it would be be a, brought to a big attention and they would have got support for it. But no one values in my life, even in the so-called TI community. Yeah, he's he's fucking. They got they. He's he's over right over there. So, I didn't get to have enough water throughout the day, and um, I'm extremely thirsty, and it's warm tonight. And um. Excuse me. So why my twin sister said, you want her, you come get her back and blood. And then use the mi- the middle finger emojis. What does she mean by that? So, but as I said, how come my twin, it's okay for my twin sister to talk about food. But I get v- devoured and attacked. I mean, New Orleans is famous for food. And Nobody told my twin sister, you're lying about being from New Orleans. But they'll tell me I'm lying about being from New Orleans. Well, if if you think you know better than me about where I'm from, you tell me where the fuck I'm from. If you think you know better than me of where I'm from, you tell me where I'm from. And y'all got, strangers think y'all got the fake authority to tell me I'm not Creole. So... So, I mean, yeah, my twin sister created the fake smear campaign to have her cult followers to um, think that I'm just greedy for food and money. And also the fake Aquarian Doris perp was one of the people that was um, cussing my twin sister out about that beating and rape video with the girlfriend. Anthony and the fake Aquarian Doris perp were cussing my twin sister out and condemning her. And yet she's letting them comment and some fake support her now, speaking against me all over. You know, it was around the first time I ever seen the fake Aquarian Doris perp, um, you know, comment on my twin sister's page. And my twin sister heart and like the fake Aquarian Doris perp, her fake um, devil horns emojis. Or my twin you I mean, even if you've, I mean, you, why are you even playing like that? Playing like you defending devil worshipers, or you making it like as if you don't like, like as if you take this light, lightly. You know. So. So, I mean, I, I, I think I remember I got $6.82. The most I was able to panhandle was $1. So that makes me have like $6.82 plus $1.83 in cash. That's it. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow morning. And I don't know if, if I'm going to get rained on. And then it's supposed to have a cold front. Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night, and then Sunday night, I mean, Sunday evening, all the way through next Friday. It's supposed to rain every day. Like, where am I supposed to go? And in that video with the fake Darnell Williams perp hypocritically trying to falsely call me racist, he acted like he had passionate, vicious, fake hate, anger, and then tried to falsely call me a chomo, copying off of my twin sister. So my twin sister copied off of her cult following flying monkeys 
what mocking and making fun of me talking about me saying so um so um and a lot of times when I say so um it be like my anxiety and nervousness and Tourette's and stuff you know so you know and and, and so it's like my twin sisters encouraging perps to use number harassment against me. And she's still teaming, copying off of them what harassing me about the, and perping me with the red velvet cake. I'm showing y'all what she's doing. And a lot of people with narcissistic personalities are sexually perverted and make false, false sexual rumors about people. They would even make false sexual rumors about kids. Innocent kids. Like if there's somebody that's abusive and narcissistic and they would call a four-year-old a, a four-year-old sex trafficking victim. You falsely called him a slut. When it's not the four-year-old child's fault. They're innocent. You you call like a three-year-old baby, I mean a three-year-old toddler, you call them fast. So, yeah, I am, um, I'm not even hungry right now, but I am thirsty as fuck for some co ice cold water and don't have any way where, where I can go get any, any ice cold water. I don't even have, I don't know where, where I can go get any water. So I'm going to have to suffer for several hours to be thirsty. And every day is supposed to have heavy rain from Sunday evening all the way through Friday. So that is the, the reason why I asked for help was $700. You know, and people in the, um, you know, they have people in a mutual aid community who be asking for like a thousand dollars to survive and stuff. But I was asking for help with $700, but since it's supposed to rain every day, and I was trying to ask for help with, um, you know, funds for like, hotel and help hotel room and food for a week that's why i was trying to ask for i mean hotel room and food out of the i mean you know hotel room out of the rain plus food and you know out of that money i might need more soap so it's hot and warm tonight and, it, and and today earlier today was the record heat and um i i don't even remember all the other frustrating stuff that my twin sister and her cult followers were saying um i'm but my my mind is scrambled right now and i'm i'm upset you know so my twin sister she copies off of her cult following flying monkey she copies off of the biological brother wyatt she copies off of other family members. She copies off of the fake foster mom, Adrian Felder. She copies off the foster bro abusive fake foster brother, Joe. Oh, she don't be trying to act like Shelly and April, but she trying to act like Ann and Joe. So, it's, I guess I'm starting to feel a cool breeze. So, yeah, I mean, I was asking if multiple people can pitch in and help me. 
not I'm not expecting one person to send me, you know, a lump sum of seven hundred dollars. I was asking if multiple people can pitch in and help. You know, um in the online stalkers that's forcing me to be homeless out in the rain. I know that the fake Darnell Williams perp wouldn't um I know that he he's a punk that will um that could dish it out but can't take it. I know that if somebody stripped him of his home and and if somebody um deprived him of food and forced him to be out in thunder and lightning and flooding, I, I know I know that I know that um that he would protest. Any of y'all would that's sadistically forcing me to be out here while at the same time lying on me and saying that I get three I mean get thousands of dollars per week and that I'm in hotels every week. But you see me out on the streets you see me out on the streets. But my twin sister is part of the sex trafficking and um trying to falsely paint me as a racist on purpose to make everybody hate me more. She's trying to falsely paint me as a pedophile so that when I get blood sacrificed, everybody will feel sorry for her and not me. And so that if, if I die any kind of way, they will falsely make it like as if me being murdered is justified. And, and and it's like, as I said, the stalkers that want me dead, how do y'all think that they're supposed to be credible with um telling, being believed with telling the narrative of my life? And it's like, how y'all going to call me? Y'all falsely in line and say that I'm the perp. But then you say that I'm mental, that I'm mentally ill and schizophrenic and need medication. And that I'm crazy and weird. I'm only asking for help out of necessity only when I need it. And I, and I'm I'm getting like my twin sister's cult followers are increasing and I'm getting more hate. I'm like I, I'm disturbed that my own twin sister lied and trying to falsely make it like as if I was, you know, playing with myself and having orgasm on camera on my YouTube videos. And I never ever did such a thing like that. And she think that shit is funny. She's sexually perverted. And I have to reiterate that she believed that fake Darnell Williams per when he lied and said that I took his, he took his advice to um, get an OnlyFans. I do not have an OnlyFans. My twin sister, why is she not take, these people are dangerous. And she's working with dangerous satanic cult stalkers to ruin my life and take me down and, and to speed up my so-called demise. And then they mock and make fun and try to lie and say that, oh, if you don't donate candy money, she will tell you you're going to hell. That, that's what the type of lies that they try to say to make me seem really crazy. So now I have like no place where I can um have any privacy, safety, security. Um I'm out in the open, vulnerable. Um no no um no place where I can lay down, sleep, get rest. No place I can brush my teeth and take a shower. N not enough funds for food to eat. Um, my, and, and my legs end up swelling and to go to the hospital every fucking week, that ain't the solution. 
Let me have fucking permanent housing and, and just don't freaking gang stalk me out of my home. And I'm wrongfully trespassed and banned from places that I found to be beloved or in nostalgic. And places I can't even go to no more due to the forced homelessness and gang stalking. My twin sister is allowing internet strangers to rewrite history and make a, fa a false narrative on my life. And in 2017, my twin sister, she falsely accused me of slamming her car door. And me and her got along good earlier that day. And then um, everything seemed normal. And then I closed the door without even realizing days of sleep deprived. And me and her got into an argument because she falsely accused me of slamming her car door. And now the new lie is she lied on me and said that me saying something about illegal Mexicans is the reason why I got mad and slammed her car door in 2017 and that she put me out of her car. And that wasn't even, that like, wow, that, was, that wasn't even true. Like, me and her had a good day earlier that day, and China stayed home that day. And, um, and so, and so, I mean, we went to the, she took me to the duck park that day. Or did China come with us? No, something, no, she took me to the library. Or maybe both places, I don't remember. But um But yeah, when when she publicized and she put me out on Facebook. But I mean I'm upset and disturbed that she that she lied on me and thought it was funny to falsely accuse me of um you know, playing with myself and having orgasm on a YouTube video. And she screenshot, you know, me closing my eyes, maybe closing my eyes thinking about something, you know. But I was scratching my leg, my legs, you know, itching and stuff, me scratching all over because... Remember, I mean, well, tonight I don't really feel much bed bug bites or bed bug attacks, you know. But, um, but yeah, it's like they they try to falsely paint this false, fake picture, you know, and try to falsely make it like as if I'm a um, sex crazed demon. And I mean. The the stuff that they're falsely saying, the stuff stuff that they're falsely saying about me, like y'all tell me, ignore them, but then y'all be the first to turn against me and believe their lies. So it's eleven fifty six p.m. at night. It's already gonna be tomorrow morning. You know, and this perp keep walking back and forth. Now he looks like he's trying to break into the, one of the um one of the buildings. Oh, he put a that, is that the same weirdo? He put his shirt back on, and he looked like he was trying to tamper with or trying to break into one of the one of the Riverwalk buildings. Yeah, they sent a bunch of um fake perp weirdos around me. But, you know, like, while I was in the hotel room, you know, I was using the um, the natural soap to um, try to wash myself, like, twice. A, like, I would wash myself every day, but some days I would wash, I had been washing myself twice a day, you know. Um, but I'm not really itching that bad tonight, just a little bit, tiny bit, but... Um, 
you know. But that, as I said, that wasn't my fault. And the fake Donnell Williams perp laughed at me talking about um, falling on the um, on the hand, the handicap bench in, in the bathroom in the hotel room last week. But, you know, I mean, I I wish he would reveal himself. And and I bet you he's obese and overweight. I mean, I don't know how much I weigh now, but I probably weigh about 275. But the online perps lie and say that I'm over 400 pounds. But they they don't harass my twin sister and call her fat and greedy. They don't tell her she need to lose weight. They don't count her calories. They don't shun her about food. And the fake Darnell Williams perp lied and said that um, that I said number three is the number one of the numbers that I hate. I did not say that I hate number three. I didn't say that number three is one of the numbers that I hate. And he's so sexually perverted that he called Pensacola penis cola. But, you know, like, even for me to see my own twin sister harassing me this evening, it made me almost want to give up on my life. It made me almost want to give up and, and do myself in. And all these vicious vigilante attacks. And I don't and I I don't like where is anybody to listen to me and support me? Everybody's on a militant mission to be violently against me. So I'm getting off here. It's straight up midnight right now.